In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can add stuff to your control center. Of course, it is a little bit more basic, but I tried to do a variety of videos and there are still search volumes for this kind of stuff. So I figured that I can do a video about that, including the shortcuts you can make. So let's just get started. Of course, on the older iPhones, you swipe up from the bottom to access the control center and on the notch iPhones, you swipe from the right upper corner. So in order to customize it, you have to open up the settings and navigate to the control center, which is right here. So uh, the only option you have here is to enable the access from within apps. So in case you have opened up any kind of app, you can decide if you want to, to be able to access it or not, which is like a no brainer. Of course, you should keep it turned on. And here, if you click on the other option, you have the ability here to manipulate the toggles you see right there. So not only you can move them around like this, you can also click on uh, the red minus icon, which is going to make them delete or move them. Uh, you can see you're going to move them right to the bottom section. And here you can click on a plus again and to click and add any kind of thing you would want, but it doesn't really work for third party apps, which means that if you download some app from the app store, they don't really have an option to add a toggle to the control center, add a toggle to this, this section, which allows you to add it to the control center. So you are kind of limited. And like I said, you are not even able to move around uh, these huge toggles, like the one for the music, the one for the Wi-Fi and everything. So you can't do that, but what you can do is only move these four around and actually remove them or add something new. But there is one method, however, which I'm going to try on another iPhone, which is like a third party way or like, you know, it's not very usual thing to do and download the tweak box. So once you have that and you should see a tweak box app on your home screen. So make sure to open it up and click on the apps section. So here it is. You have to open it up and of course, click on the install. Now click install once again. And now if you come back to the home screen, you should wait a little bit until the next icon actually pops up, which is going to tell you that it does not work. So it doesn't really work, but I'm just talking to you in theory that uh, this tweak technically allows you to move even uh, these platters of uh, the control center even to the bottom, which isn't anything what you would probably want. So it doesn't work anyways right now. So, but besides that, you also have an option to add shortcuts, which can serve as something similar, even though they are not part of the control center at first. You can see I still got the pop up, but let's talk about the shortcuts. Of course, make sure you open up the app store in case you have not yet downloaded the shortcuts app. It is an app from Apple, so it should be available to you no matter where you are. So the app looks something like this and it is a free app from Apple. So make sure to download it. And this one allows you to add multiple more options to the control center, even though it's not going to be exactly this section, but it's going to allow you to, for example, quit and turn off the Wi-Fi right away. Because right now, if you click, click on the Bluetooth, it won't turn it off. It will only disconnect you for about like an hour or so. So if you want to, for example, just turn it off immediately, you can use shortcuts to do it. So let me show you how it works in case you are not familiar with this. Of course, this is what you can see if you open up the app, of course. So it, it's like a shortcut. You cr create one sort of order or command what happens when you click on something. So let's click on new one. And here you can add whatever you would want. So you can see that you have the option for uh, the shortcut to trigger the actions to open up uh, the Wi-Fi settings or actually turn it off or on. Okay. So yeah, this is how the shortcuts actually work. And you can actually add the shortcuts to this panel to uh, this section of uh, your widgets that you access when you swipe to the right and access uh, this section. So here you can add, as you can see, all of the things that you would want and all of the shortcuts that you create. So for example, let me show you how it works. If I turn on the Wi-Fi right here, you can see that it is now turned on and in just a moment in, yeah, you can see we are already connected. So if I click on that, you can see the toggle is white the Wi-Fi is not turned off. If I open up the settings, the Wi-Fi 
as you can see right here, is still turned on, so it doesn't really work the way I want it. But if I click on uh, the the shortcuts, for example, the one that I created, which is called Turn Off Wi-Fi, you can see it has been done. And now you can see the Wi-Fi is turned off. Not only we are disconnected, but it has been removed or turned off completely like you can see right here. So this is basically the point of this. You can create multiple shortcuts for, uh, that can do really different and crazy things. For example, you click and you're going to send a text message to someone. So this is sort of another way of using the control center, even though it is not directly related to this control center right here. But yeah, this is another option that you have so i kind of thought that i'm gonna include it in the video so if you are enjoying it then i would be really glad if you clicked on the like button this is actually the end and like i said it's a little bit more basic videos i also post more advanced stuff so if you are interested in a mix of those then click on the subscribe button and see you guys later in the next video peace out guys